unsolved crimes newspaper as a response to Cavalier civil society organization within the framework of a struggle against religious extremism presents. This the covenant is very precise concerning coercion to adopt or to <coughs> recant a uh, religion. Patricia Duval, attorney and member of the Paris Bar in France, co-author of a book about scandalous international organization factories, member of scientific committee of European Federation for Freedom of Belief. She has defended rights of the various organization in international institutions such as a European Court of Human Rights, the Council of Europe, the United Nations and OSCE. Some groups, you know. Yes. 
is uh, is not is not um, well. It gets to a certain degree. It gets uh, gets illegal, uh, but it's also what is legal actually is the fact by the government to finance that. I mean, private groups can say what they want, but if it's a, with the state support, it becomes illegal because. The state has a duty of neutrality in religious matters and in belief consciousness mm -hmm. matters. And for, like, for example, the European Convention on Human Rights, and you know, and also the uh, International uh, Covenant on Civil and, Pol and Political Rights. Mm -hmm. So, the, all these uh, treaties, uh, you know, states are bound by yes. that. To respect human rights and to respect uh, uh, freedom of uh, of, com of religion or belief. Yes. So they, they are not allowed to support uh, groups uh, that would be stigmatizing or you know uh, other groups and, uh, and, uh, and and preventing them in effect from existing or uh, or of practicing freely their beliefs and so on. Well, their goal was to get rid of the uh, not minorities of belief. That's their, their goal. They want them to be repressed, oppressed, and to disappear. They want, uh, that's their goal. So, um, like, like, like we just said, it's, it's, well, coming from, uh, okay, they think that they are part of organization, okay, but if they are state supported, it becomes legal. And, um, and uh, especially when it comes for, for example, in Russia. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's all, all, all the uh, factories uh, members in Russia. I mean, the factories member in Russia, yeah, the Iranian center. Is, is a part of the authority spirit. It's a chapter of the uh, Orthodox Church, you know. Yes, and, yes. Uh, it's part of the missionary center of the Orthodox Church. And the Orthodox Church has rehabilitation centers for members of so called cults, you know. Yes. So it all comes down to a traditional, accepted, recognized religion fighting against what they see as competitors. And the state is forbidden to do that. It has the duty of neutrality in these matters. And, and uh, the state should not support such, uh, such things, you know. Yes, I know. And uh, the, my second question was about apologetic center of Irene Leonsky that was established by Navy Alexander Dworkin. So I see the activity of this person and as a lawyer saying honestly I am shocked because I know that in the Russian legislation uh, there is no sects, there is no cults and uh, there is no such a crime as uh, acting in cults or acting in sects, yes? But uh, when I visited this website of Irene Leonsky Apologetic Center, so I saw even business organizations that was called there as sex and cults. So how do you think? What what can you say about this? Well, I would say that it's so, all you know the label because uh, the labeling of sex. It's just a convenient label, doesn't exist in Yes, yes, yes. You know, there's, there's no such notion in, in law. But this notion, this uh, labeling has been uh, condemned by international human rights institution, like the UN, the special rapporteurs, the successive special rapporteurs on religion, on freedom of religion or belief, the, uh, the OSCE, and also uh, the man, their panel of experts in the area, and also uh, the uh, Council of Europe, you know. Yes. They had a resolution on that. So 
and uh, they, 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 they at some point they, they chose to concentrate on the uh, alternative medicines and all that because they have uh, uh, we have the uh, National Association of Medical Doctors in mm-hmm. Berlin, you know, and, and so they, they are attacking these groups, you know, for practicing natural medicines and all that. But I don't, I mean, I don't really understand it because it's, uh, I mean, I understand uh, who wants that, but I, I mean, I think the, uh, uh, the, uh, they, they have sufficient means to combat you know, abuses by doctors to, uh, to not need uh, that kind of uh, fight, which is uh, really a, a, a human rights problem, uh, because uh, most of these groups uh, are just uh, peaceful and they are just complementary to traditional medicine. And so, well, I mean, if they have abuses, well, I think we should deal with it with their. Uh, the, the tools that the, uh, the, the medical association has, you know, and uh, I think it's a, it's a very specific problem which has nothing to do with cults. This cult or sex uh, is, a, is a term that originally means, if there is a definition in the, in the dictionary, the usual dictionary actually, it means a religious group. That has, uh, uh, how do you say, come apart from uh, 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 a big religion. Oh, you know? yes, okay, I see. No, sector, sector, in Latin means to cut. Mm-hmm. So that they have taken their distance from a, a you know, from a, a, a traditional religion. Mm-hmm. But they, they Protestants were called sect by the Catholics in the beginning and so on, until the world recognized as a religion too. So um, it's just that's what it means, but it has been devoid, you know, and, and uh, they use it not only for that, now they, they use it for everything mm-hmm. that Savior divine, even if it has nothing to do with religion. Mm-hmm. But it's an important use of the church, you know. And even with the, the original meaning of sect, well, as, uh, uh, it's not because a group, a religious group, has uh, uh, decided to dissent, mm-hmm. you know, dissented from a major religion. I uh, read the, the articles of Dworkin and of other uh, people who deal with factories. And still I cannot understand what is sect and what is cult. So I asked many people to give the definition. So what is sect and what is cult, yes? And even in the, in the book you read, you have wrote, yes? Uh, the definition I see, uh, so we can label it to any organization. Yeah. So how do you see it? Um, this activity um, of um, anti-cult and anti-sect, yes, uh, it is about well, maybe 20 years and still there is no definition of cult and of sect. How do you see it? Why is it so? Maybe uh, they had to give the definition. So the cult is 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4. The set is 0.1234, but there is no such definition. Why do you think? Why is it so? Because there is no legal definition, it doesn't exist. So it's a, it's a homemade thing. I can give you the definition of fabulous if you want. I saw the definition in the book. I simply asked about this definition, but because as for me, it is no unlogical definition. Well, there's nothing logical in that definition, I can confirm that to you. Uh, it's, a, it's a definition, you know, saying it's a, it's a, they, they are uh, basically that they, they, uh, they twist people's mind by converting them, you know, that they, they operate a kind of mind control on them, and this is the, uh, the, 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 the proper meaning of the word. You know, means that people are uh, 
car in, into a, uh, dri driven into a movement and and uh, they don't think by themselves anymore. That's what we, we think of a sect is. And this is basically, it's all based on belief. That means that if you have certain beliefs, if you adhere to certain beliefs, then, uh, which are considered to be divine. Yes. It means to be, you know, mind control to be converted to those beliefs. And this is the bottom line of it. So that means it's, it's a discrimination on beliefs. If you think that uh, our Krishna is good, uh, you understand. If you think that the practices of Falun Gong are good for you, you know, spiritually, physically, and all that, oh, it's not traditional medicine, or it's not the right religion, or it's, it's, it's a religion, because in China there's not like religion. Anyway, so, um, oh, then it's a sect, because it, uh, it uh, captured your mind, you know, you know what I'm saying. This is the, the reason behind it, and this is why there's no, um, there's no definition of sect, I mean, there's no legal definition of sect, yes. so it exists. But all we are able to do is to give, they try to make lists of sets, which correspond to groups that they think are divided. Their beliefs are not in the norm, and this is why they are called sets. And most of them, most of the time, have committed no criminal actions, nothing. You know, they are completely peaceful, but their only crime is their beliefs. And this is completely illegal under um, uh, contrary to international human rights law because there is a freedom of belief for everyone. Okay, so let me read uh, the part of uh, your book. So Fakris writes that uh, sects and cults they recruit their members using deception. Uh, retain them by various forms of manipulation and mental bullying and explode them for financial or other benefit to the cult's leadership. Uh -huh. uh, so the question is, uh, I read the, that uh, you written after that and I agree with you, so uh, we don't understand that what is deception, yes, why mental bullying and what is con uh, mental control. So, um, uh, saying honestly, if I talk now to you, yes, maybe it is such a, of a kind of main control, you by me and me by you, yes? So how do you think, how do you think? Mm, do the psychologists, do the psychologists uh, have to give the definition of mental control or of mind control? No, mind control is a controversy uh, issue. It doesn't exist as concerns religious groups or you know belief groups. It's, it doesn't exist. Mind control was a, a concept that was used uh, first with uh, by some U.S. psychologists. Brainwashing, you mean? Yeah, and yes. mind control is the same. Yeah, and uh, but it, it has been uh, you know. Uh, Along the years, it has been rejected and proven to be non scientific. Yes. And, and so it has been uh, long, long been, been forgotten. Like, uh, it's not, it wasn't made in courts and uh, all that, you know. And so uh, and this is what the uh, UK Court of Human Rights uh, said in a judgment uh, in the decision of 2010 of. Uh, you have these witnesses against Russia, you know, that there was no definition of mind control and it had no scientific um, reliance at all. Mm -hmm. so, so this concept of, you know, it, it is not to be taken in consideration, it doesn't exist as concerns religious uh, belief because any religious belief could be said to be mind control, you know, like yes. Uh, Yes, yes. If you reject a group or any belief you can say mind control, if you think that, okay, that person is crazy to think that, it must be mind control, you know. 
that's so far, I don't need anything. You know, I can use that little thing that that person shouldn't think that way. That's what it means, you know. And uh, and that the persons and the living quotes of human rights which was said that you know the, 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 the fact of adhering to a group and having a uh, uh, practices and uh, thing, uh, obligations in your life, you know, is, uh, is uh, particular to any religion, you know, it belongs to any religion to have things uh, that you do in your life that are influenced by your genes, you know. So there's no difference between, you know, uh, practicing a Catholic or even a, a person in a monastery, you know, mm -hmm.
that in the United States uh, such a kind of activity as deprogramming uh, was uh, illegal. So the United States court said that, it is, that this activity is illegal and it is human rights violations. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's, it, is, uh, it has been completely outlawed. But now, uh, so another concept which is exit cancel. Uh, but is this, they're trying, you know, exit cancel, you know this concept? No, I don't know what it is. Well, counseling, advising, they call it exit counseling because they are supposed to counsel, counsel uh, the, uh, the uh, members uh, who are coming out of, or to come out of, of, of social cults. But actually, it covers the same, uh, the same, uh, the same kind of well, the same kind of concept. Uh, the concept is to deprogram people. Mm -hmm. they say, you know, they say that they have been mind controlled and they need to be deprogrammed by, you know, telling them for hours how bad the, that group was. This is basically what they do. And, and it consists of, you know, like kind of, you know, uh, indoctrinating them against the, the group that they chose to, believe, to adhere to. Saying that the people 
are not aware that they shouldn't believe that word, you know? Mm -hmm. But because there's no, they're not in prison, how can you put in prison in belief, you know? I faced with this problem as a lawyer. And uh, I asked myself many questions. I didn't understand what is going on because in the Constitution of Ukraine, in the International Human Rights uh, Law, is written that any one person has his right uh, to believe in some religion or not to believe in any religion at all. And I'm really sure that we lawyers, we must stop them. Because if we don't do this, maybe in time, in few years, in two years, in five years, I don't know, uh, we face this problem. As for me, it is a new religion. The religion of people that hate the religion of other people or the belief of other people. So as for me, as for me, in a free society, in a free country, it is impossible. But uh, we, we, have, we have such organizations. And I say you honestly, uh, for me, France always was the country of freedom. Uh, since I was a baby, we always know that France is the country of freedom. Uh, for me, France equals freedom. And when I read in your book that organizations fake was born in France and it is supported by the government, I was really shocked. I, well, I'm shocked too that this is why that France is not all that. I mean, there are people in France who think differently or don't do it. And, and, uh, and it's, not, it's against the spirit of the, you know, the, the rights of, of the Enlightenment and all the big thinkers in France. It really goes against it. And, uh, and, and uh, we, now in France, we have, there's two tendencies there. It's a very extreme song, extremists on secularism. Uh, in France, uh, Frederick and uh, we are, are, not, we are not supporting a, a traditional religion. Mm -hmm. We are supporting uh, a mixed one now. We are supporting, you know, you know and uh, supported by uh, you know, uh, partisans of extreme secularism, you know, what they call total secularism mm -hmm. in, in history, which is anti-religious, actually. It's not a concept of secularism, uh, which is that speech between independent and tolerate all religions, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a concept of a secularism, which is a fight against religion, you know. And so there are these two tendencies uh, in France and uh, being so you know, direct uh, supporting factors and uh, that are for this extreme, uh, you know, way. And, uh, but we don't all think uh, about that. But uh, I think it, it, should, it should be exposed for what it is. And the, the book that you're referring to is going to be, we are working on its uh, uh, publication in French. So that can be also uh, uh, circulated in France, in our, uh, because it's, uh, it's unbearable that the, the French government and many uh, citizens continue to pay you know, for, for them to exist. They should not exist. It has no place in the French Republic. I can tell you that it's against the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Because the Valkyrie Constitution, France respects all creeds, which is not true. Considering what these people do and the fact that they are, you know, funded by the state or by uh, public funding, or, you know, so this is how it is. So I, I understand your concern, uh, your uh, astonishment, and uh, you know, your, your, your reaction about, you know, the fact that it's coming from France. But you know, this is why all sorts feel that it is, uh, you know, that French people say things about it because. We, we know that uh, we, we can say things better. Okay, I I see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I can I can really find such concerns uh, the Russian Federation and Ukraine that you expose you you expose uh, you know, the fact that the members for what they are doing and what you know what they are doing. Uh, you know, I, 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 I,
what is behind it and it is a woman who appears. There's no I'm uh, working or talking about working his uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned I'm seeing that he's an extremist. Yes. And that he has he has his defended vested interests, you know, like the uh, uh, you know the uh, 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 an alleged or supposed competition with the Orthodox Church, which is you know, it has nothing to do, you know, with, um, uh, with, with uh, any activities that should be state uh, supported. Or, uh, you know, each member of a, 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 a committee of, of experts on religion or that. With all these statements he has made, you know, which can, uh, are really paid speeches, you know, and uh, the positions he has taken, which are very extreme, and the fact that he believes is he's himself. Uh, a member of the Orthodox Church, he should not be uh, allowed to be uh, giving uh, some so called expert opinions on other other things or beliefs. You know, this is my opinion about it. And uh, I know, Sylvia, I know that Dvork is, is not a scientist. So, no. yes, I read that he is not a scientist. So he has no specific education in the area of religion. Yes, as far as I understand, apologetica should protect the religion, but uh, apologetica shouldn't attack the other religion. Because I see that Alexander is working, as for me, it is my opinion that he is aggressive. So he is, ag he is aggressive against other religions, other beliefs. Yes, yeah. Well, that's about the point speech. Very, uh, very degrading and, you know, told, it's insulting people. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, maybe two years ago, uh, I, as an advocate, I faced the problem that some journalists, uh, they deal with such an organization as factories. So, in mass media, they put the stamp on some organizations or some people. So, what would you advise to do in such a situation? Uh, to uh, uh, the media, you mean to be faced with the media slander? I mean uh, that uh, sometimes the journalists work with factories, so they help factories. So. Uh -huh. Uh, on TV or maybe on newspapers, they take the person or take the organization and say this is a sect or this is a cult. So yeah. what should, how this, their organization or how the person should protect themselves? Because we understand that when the journalists uh, say such a things that maybe he uh, obtained some money for this, Okay, and then my answer is counter attack. Counter attack on factories. Expose what they are, what their interest is, why they do it, especially, for example, in the Russian Federation, you know, and Orkin, because this is, I understand, your main concern. Yes. Or the ultimate concern. And, well, expose. Factories is a front neutral for the, it's just a uh, part of the Orthodox Church. And so what? You know, what is the uh, how? Uh, and what, what? Why would the Orthodox Church be legitimate and fighting against other beliefs? 